Uh, wing signals on him. <laughs> Hi, it's Abel1975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on console, which I'm going to have to get used to calling Elite Dangerous Legacy. Uh, yes, we are the leftover legacy uh, of uh, Elite Dangerous Horizons version on console. Uh, going forward, we don't exactly know how it's going to work as yet. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it happens after update 14. Get more of a lie of the land then. But it appears we'll have our own separate BGS from the live version of the game, which could be interesting. Could be some opportunities there for PPI. We, you know, we'll have to see. Um, as far as it goes from like. Um, the live version I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the show because if ever are making that much big sweeping changes to the live version of the game that they feel they should hive this off I feel some people are gonna get very upset when their BGS gets squashed by a bunch of flowers that's my opinion uh, in the background you're watching me using fixed beams uh, this is my bioweave shielded fixed beam beam the lands I beat re built recently for PvE stuff um, but we were blockading one of the power play systems and uh, I decided to use it um, and luckily Wolf turned up in a chip big enough that I can hit consistently because you know I don't want to be hitting anything too small in this to be honest this ship's really designed to like just melt the shields on bigs um, and it's a bit of fun it's it's nowhere near as effective as my gimbaled version with me piloting it but it's fun to have a fixed version I, you know and it was just recycling the weapons that I used to swap in and out on my other version and uh, yeah I thought I'd go with this after my gunship failed experiment beam beamed a gunship I uh, decided to come back to the after day and do a fixed beam on that uh, poor old wolf was the only imp that showed up we blockaded um, a living e Deval's home system uh, it was quite nice fun it was good to hang out and just chill uh, not many imps in open, so we didn't see many imps coming down doing their power play fortification, etc. But we had some fun. We got some. Uh, we got some kills. Wolf turned up and made it entertaining. We had a few fights with him. Um, he absolutely annihilated me in his FDL when I was in my anaconda, which is later on in this video. Um, ad admittedly, by then I was running out of frag ammo, and he did a lot of his damage while I was trying to reload my frags. But you know, it was properly like down to the wire he should have probably won that fight uh, but it was me and Meta versus him and um, yeah Meta saved my bacon because my weapons actually do get taken out just towards the end but I don't think I did too bad hitting a FDL with the frags I had and um, the problem is I was slightly short on frags going into the fight but you know that's just the way it goes sometimes you're not always 100% when going into organic fights that's part of the fun of organic fights they're organic you don't know what's going to happen uh, whereas prepared tournament fights your ship's always at 100% and you don't have to worry about having half the equipment on it Which is why PvP sweaty tournament types, you know, they run they don't even run big interdictors or things like that um, Whereas pirates like us we run bigger interdictors. We run way different equipment um, Because we're used to having our ships have to deal with stuff and have to get around the bubble um, I do have a few ships that suffer for the lack of jump range but that's because they're stupidly heavy built um, and this isn't one of them this actually this FDL I thrown together with spare parts is actually pretty functional pretty fun um, not the strongest by shields but I got three lots of heat sinks on there so I can derp around doing some, you know slipping into stealth mode if need be and um, controlling my heat and keeping those beam lasers from you know melting myself too quickly uh, but when I want to go full burn I can and that's quite good fun uh, like I say Wolf made it entertaining um, there wasn't many other imps that came down but we had fun just chatting in party blockading the system now the main crux today is going to be will power play and BGS be enough for us on console going forward will we be able to make enough of our own entertainment um, this is going to be interesting I'm going to have to talk to the power players about how they feel about the legacy version of the game is because you know if the power players that are on console are going to be focused on adjusting the legacy side of the game 
whereas all the power players on PC are going to be on the live version of the game doing that BGS, they'll be separate. And that means what happens in terms of which systems power play control, uh, who controls what systems, is going to be very different across the two platforms. This gives opportunity to us in terms of PPI, which has always been a good way of making our own content. Uh, we almost create our own CGs by uh, attacking people's BGSs and causing all sorts of strife and sometimes lawfuls come down and try and stop us doing that so that could be quite fun um, you know with no CG's it's going to be harder to find piracy targets and with no gown net there's not gonna be any ongoing storylines so you know the entertainment is going to be basically what we make as a community for ourselves so you know PvP tournaments events fun hangouts um, you know different events going on in different systems uh, canyon racing events things like that i feel like if xbox is going to survive the next six months it's going to be very reliant on things like jabba's palace and people organizing events for the community and having fun silly events and stuff to draw people together um you know i i think we should at some point in the future should do a big hangout where we get as many xbox commanders in one system as we can like and just have fun see how many people we can get because it would be nice to see how much life there is out there. Um, you know, when you look at some of the systems with CGs and that, I mean, I'm still seeing new commanders. I'm regularly getting attacked or bumping into or pirating you know, new commanders, and it's, that's quite gratifying. That's quite That gives me hope for the future of the game, uh, despite what FDev have been doing. And I'll be honest, I actually, a while ago, talked about... Um, if I'd have been FDev, I, what I would have done is done Salvation Firing and say Salvation Firing worked for the Xbox and console guys and worked for these guys and didn't work for these guys. And then I would have gone off on two separate narrative branches because they knew they couldn't do the narrative storyline they wanted for Salvation failing with the older, like the, what they're now calling Horizon 3.8 or the Legacy version. So why not just break it off at that point? Um, and I actually had discussions about that with people uh, before this happened. So it's not a surprise to me that they've separated and hived us off now. Because, yeah, whatever's happening with the big Fargoid storyline can't happen on Xbox, won't happen on Xbox. So why they didn't just do it at Salvation Firing, I do not know. That would have been, for me, the logical point to break the, you know, to separate things off. But, you know. It is what it is. Um, I don't think Horizon's legacy version is going to uh, suffer unduly from, you know, uh, it, it's still going to be the game it is now, which is a game a lot of us still enjoy. Um, the no CGs is a bit of a, eh. uh, I mean, I don't know why they just can't, like, run a bot to generate a CG. I mean, it's, it's not really that difficult. Pick a system. Pick a thing to do, pick some reward structures, maybe pwn a, an old module. Nothing new, obviously, but you know, because that requires design and work and team. But one of some of the old like, tech broken modules or like corrosive missiles or any free unlock, even hell, even power play weapons, you can uh, do this CG, you get this power play weapon. Um, they could have quite easily done a lot of just randomly generated CGs, procedurally generated or bot generated CGs, just based on power play characters, power play systems, you know, capital systems and big systems. It wouldn't have been hard to do. The bot could quite easily just pick a system and say, this week is a bounty hunting CG here. This week is a trade CG here. This week it's a Fargoid hunting CG here. You know, it would have been very easy for the bot to be able to do that. Um, minimal effort, minimum work. And yet they're not even giving us that level of attention. A uh, bit of a shame because people are saying, oh, well, the console version some console version, console version. It's not the console version that's holding it back because there's a lot more PCs that are not, you know, being able to move forward than people think. And the consoles, the console I'm on is way above the minimum spec for PC uh, going forward. So the console I'm on, I'm on isn't holding the game back. You know, the, the game Odyssey won't run on the new consoles. Uh, sorry, on the old consoles. We know that. It will run fine on the new consoles. But they can't release it for the new consoles as an update. 
because if you release an update for a game it has to work on every platform you release the game on and that wouldn't work so they'd have to if they want to do odyssey for all the new consoles release it as a new game and they basically said there isn't the install base on um console at the moment for that but as more people migrate to the new consoles that's something they may go back to in the future and don't be surprised if odyssey does eventually come out on console uh, in the future as a new game for the new consoles um, but you know that's just the way it is it's just uh, the economics of the situation are at the moment the player base isn't there on the new consoles for them to bother doing that uh, because since the consoles upgraded to the new consoles to be honest there hasn't really been that many new titles that have dragged people from the old consoles upwards uh, they will eventually uh, people do tend to migrate to the new consoles eventually but you know there isn't any rush to and as far as the odyssey version of the game goes who really cares i mean i don't want to spend eight hours grinding on a planet surface to upgrade my dominator outfit i mean it still sounds a bit sad really <laughs> i've watched live streams of you know the ground-based stuff and i'm like yeah i don't really want to play uh pubg with spacesuits and bad hit detection i'm sorry it absolutely does not interest me Armstrong moment looks shit to me. I would, you know, um, yeah, the, the Horizons version of the games, especially for people that play VR, look way more appealing than the Odyssey version of the game. Um, and, you know, so if you play on console, if you play on VR, if you play on an older PC, you're going to be on the legacy version of the game. And, um, yeah, it's going to be as fun as we can make it. And that's going to be down to the community, down to the people, rather than down to the developers. Because uh, the developers are giving us no support whatsoever. So, as a community, we're either going to make it work or we're not going to make it work. Um, you know, uh, whether I keep playing this game or not will greatly depend on what the community gets up to and what the community does in terms of, uh, like, you know, just bringing the game to life, bringing the game giving us stuff to do, um, keeping us entertained. Uh, we've done it before. We went through like a whole year with no gal net and no community goals and we survived. We made our own content. We made our own fun. Uh, we can do it again. I might end up dedicating a video a week to just going over the news of what's going on. Um, maybe like every Friday do a like update of what's going on in terms of power play, which power play systems are going to be of interest you know helping people find those expansions and things like that that you know might be of interest to people and like i say with bgs and that being separated from pc the map of the galaxy could get really ripped apart very quickly as you know large established pc factions find their stuff on legacy being torn down because they're not going to want to play legacy and live you know they're not going to be able to do bgs on both and power play on both so it's going to be interesting it's going to throw the numbers out of skew as some groups will have a big presence on legacy some groups won't have any presence on legacy and that's going to rewrite the map and that's certainly going to rewrite a lot of things from a pvi standpoint it's quite good fun because uh like with the port chopper team when we attacked them they called in a lot of people from pc that's going to be more difficult for groups to do now because you know, oh yeah, the Alliance will protect... Oh, you want us to come on the legacy version of the game? No, no, we're, we only play the live version of the game. Um, so yeah, you know, those sort of defense packs and things like that won't be there anymore or will have to be rewritten. There's going to be a lot of changes. And, you know, it can, you know, create opportunity for the community to create gameplay for themselves. Um, I'm optimistic for the game's future on that score because um you know at worst comes to worst i end up just poodling around on elite for you know a few hours each day just doing a bit of mining and chilling out and relaxing and trying to do some piracy and soul at best you know i get heavily involved in the new look power play with the new look bgs and um yeah really make a difference as we progress with a completely different version of the galaxy to most of the PC players. Um, you know, who knows? It, it could be interesting, it could be a lot of opportunity, or it might just fall flat and people might give up. We don't know. Uh, it's going to be a couple of months before we see 
exactly how this is going to work out and go forward. Uh, it's going to be a while. I mean, I don't know why I'm trying to, um, you know, keep up turning with this thing. What what I should have done is just reverse skid or flown away a bit more. But um, yeah, very tricky to hit Wolf when he's in full uh, FDL mode, and me and Meta were struggling with him. But yeah. I was running low on frags as well, but it it was a tough fight. I uh, yeah, I will happily admit that Wolf completely outflew me in his FDL when I was in my condor. But everyone knows I suck in bigs. Um, I even had to resort to flight assist off and four pips to engines just to give up with him. But yeah, I do suck in big ships, and it is really difficult to deal with that um, ship when it's orbiting you like that uh, in a big. But you know. The fun of fighting things like that is I don't do it very often and it's a good challenge for me and it keeps me entertained. So, uh, yeah. I'm not going to show you the whole of the fight because it's very long and drawn out, but I am going to put in the classic tile just about here. Eventually. Yeah, as you can see, he's totally torn me a new one by the time we get back to it. So, yeah. Uh, luckily for me, Meta manages to take him out finally. Uh, just as he takes out my weaponry, um, but it was a it was a fun fight. We had a few fun fights with Wolf. Um, you know, he really does deserve to get some kills, to be honest, because he did fly really well. Uh, but yeah, there we go. There's my Guardian module reinforcement going out. Um, I, I can't remember if I've got two or one on this ship, but yeah, once the shields go down in a Anaconda, it can get pretty tasty pretty quickly, especially when you're up against a, a Lance hitting you that heavily. But Luckily, you know, Meta was able to get the last bit of damage in because by then all my weapons were taken out. Um, as you'll see, it's coming up soon. And uh, yeah, it was good fun. Um, I had a lot of fun on this blockade. And hopefully in the future, I mean, if we can make power play, if we can get people to do power play and open, this could be a really fun time for us on console. Uh, with our own BGS and stuff happening, we can drive our own narrative and our own storyline. It's, it's if people are willing to engage for that and do that in open, it's going to be a different thing because, you know, the alliance and Imperials have always struggled to do BGS in open on Xbox, or at least some of the groups have. So it'll be interesting to see going forward, you know, how much uh, it gets pushed and how much the community can keep this game going. At least I kept Archon Delane happy. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching.